Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John Megacycle here, another episode of Startopia. Hope you're doing well. So we've gone through, we're up to mission 10, going through our campaign, and we've gone, every single mission has related to one of the alien species. So it's been really tutorial-esque, and you've gotten a good feel, at least I've gotten a really good understanding playing through the missions on how each race is used, their strengths, weaknesses, that sort of a thing. So we've gone through and we've played through every single one of them. The Siren are the last alien species that we have yet to deal with. Now, there's 10 missions, there's only 9 alien species. Um, in this case, the Galactic Rehab Authority also was the Casphagorians. So, you know, this one was kind of like a similarity. Um, at least with using those guys as the main emphasis. Um, but that having been said, let's just continue our missions and uh, see where this takes us. Okay, competition? Oh yeah, competition. This is it, the big one. If I had palms, they'd be moist. A siren station has been invaded by a pact of aggressive administrators. You must claim the station for the sirens and get rid of the three opponents. They've formed an alliance, so it could be tough. Oh, one versus three flavor. Interesting. As normal, the basic facilities have been provided by the siren agency. You'll need to act quickly, as the aggressors won't be slow about their own expansion plans. This may seem a pleasurable exercise, Administrator, but believe me, there's a lot riding on it, and no, that isn't a joke. <laughs> Sirens riding on it. All right. Anyway. Oh uh, yeah, let's let's get this whole thing set up. One versus three. This is going to be very interesting. Uh, this game really doesn't have like a rush mechanic. Like when it comes to this, I can't just barge in and take one of them out. And usually, uh, excuse me. Usually, that's how you want to handle if you can games like this where the odds are stacked against you. If you can rush in, take out one or two of them, and still maintain HQ, that's really the ideal. Um, with this one, it's going to move a lot slower. Uh, so I can't just rush in. I mean, I have to pay for each of these sections, so then I'd have to get all the way through to one of them, so it'd be very expensive on that in the first place. And then in the second place, um, I wouldn't have any energy left to do any combat. Uh, let's see, recharger... Uh, there looks great. Then birth. Okay, now before Arona Dahl shows up, I want to make sure that we go through our hard plans and we figure out what we all have. Uh, considering the last few missions, they've been generous enough to give us some technology, so I want to make sure I'm not just buying stuff that I could just produce cheaper anyhow. That works for me. Uh, Kamarama, yes sir. Uh, Your task is to be the last remaining administrator on the station. You should use all methods available to see off your opponents. It won't be an easy task, but you must achieve it if you are to have any credibility in this star sector. And don't get waylaid by the sirens. Many <laughs> beings <laughs> have, and they've all suffered. Although that's not strictly true. Many love this. <laughs> okay. So, do I have a comm sensor? I do. Fantastic. Uh, let's... Let's do this. Actually, you know what? Let's get our odd structures. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Repack. Let's get more of this stuff crammed in the corner and try to maximize up some space. Okay, so first thing. What do I all have access to? Uh, no research facilities. Security control, so that's good. Power booster, that's good. Uh, comms, please. Thank you very much. Let's check out the bio deck. Okay. What I want to do is I want to do... We've been doing this whole time. I want to get this all ripe and set up for one of three products. Either black market goods, which is what this stuff is. That's what this will be good for. So let's just get this all really ripe for it. And then down, please. And is it more sun I need? Less sun? There we go. It's this, it's this, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Snow. No snow. There, it's this, it's this stuff, really, is what we're looking for. It's just a little more tweaking. This is just one of those things that I like to do right off the bat, and just get it done with. Um, then I won't have to worry about this one, and then when we buy more areas, I don't care what they look like. Okay. Hello. Okay, let's start with you won't believe. Care to take a peek? Lab. 
a cargo hold. That's just something I don't want to deal with. Uh, mineral and food. Great, so there's that. So let's see, for our dino mat, so mineral food. This will open up both of those. You're hired. Run out of the type of cargo. And you're hired. Okay. Let's get the rest of our plans set up here. So, cargo hold. Yep. And... Laboratory. One, two, three... Four... You have run out of the type of Let's do it like... That. It should give us room for our analyzer and like three workbenches? Two workbenches. Let's do it just a little bigger. That's a good start. Um, perfect. So there's that. Uh, we already hired a Turrican. Okay, what, do we, what else do we have for visitors? Zeta monks. We want to hire all the Zeta monks we can, and they're sleeping. Uh, because they're going to allow us to start uh, turning some of these aliens into penitents, and that's going to be a really nice cash bump. Now, let's get the pleasure deck online. Uh, Love Nest. Love Nest is going to be very expensive to set up completely, and there's no real need to set it up fully. So let's do like three, four, and two doors. Great, that's enough to get that started. Then I want a general store. And let's see here. Let's get all the litter bins and stuff taken care of right away, considering that's going to be something that will really bite us in the rump later. Uh, we only have four level one scuzzers. So the thing is, I need them to concentrate more on building construction, st uh, cleanup, that sort of a thing. They're not going to really be too great about dealing with waste. You know, just the random bits and bops sitting around. Okay, what are you? Turrican? Decent enough you're hired. Improved power booster. Okay, so the way tech works is we just upgraded a facility technology. If I... Uh, hi. If I try to build it here, you'll notice the price is the exact same. It's 5000 even though the power booster has been upgraded. The thing with that is when we build it out of a factory, that's where we'll see the discount. Uh, yeah, Casphagorian's like crazy. I'm going to need those. Okay, I didn't finish terraforming any of this, so let's get some sun out here. This green stuff, this like uh, I don't know how you'd really say it, temperate plains, I guess. A trade um, ship was detected near your station. Ooh, good to know. This is going to be good for simply uh, luxury goods. So there's that. What I'd also like is an area where we could do alien products. So there's that. I think we strip the water out, and that'll do it. Yep, perfect. This kind of cracked earth, dry. It's not super hot, but it'll. It'll do it. So there's that. So I've got kind of like my three resource types working here. So more luxury, alien, and then, uh, oh, they're warping the temple. I love it when they do that because they flatten all the land. It's great. I don't have to screw with any of that. Okay. What are we doing? You're hired. Uh, you're hired. More comms is great. Uh, the next time Arona shows up, I want to get a starport online. Now what I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping we'll have some spare cashy money. What that's going to do is allow us to start buying and selling product. So for the first three or four cargo ships that come in, we're going to be taking hits. Because we're just going to be importing really as much as we can. As that goes on though, we should be able to afford a lot of these other ones that keep coming in and then starting to turn a profit. So let's see, let's get the litter bin things taken care of here as stated. Ding, ding. 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 Can never have enough of those. Tourist, tourist ship. Fantastic. And now you're a jerk. Oh, okay, I guess I should have waited on building that section before Rona shows up, but that's okay. Oof, we got some expansionists down here. This could get really crazy really fast. Hey, hey, Lilith. Awesome. Or is it Lilith or Lilish? No, it's Lilith. 
Okay, please tell me you're selling a Stardock. I do all Palomona, and if you got time for that, you would have time to look at Oh, 37,000. Lowish prices. Or swear when you sit your grandmother's graves. Well, you gotta spend money to make money. And the thing that really stinks about that being so expensive is it gets almost impossible later on for you to be able to recoup that. Or I mean to at least get that much money. So if you spend down your 100000 or whatever, whatever you start with, it's it just gets way more difficult to get that kind of money again. Like to get the star port. So that's why I'd rather just spend it up front. And since uh, Val said there's been a trade ship detected near your station, that tells me that it's active. So I mean there are going to be trades. Um, I've played some matches where I get a starport or a star dock up like almost immediately and I don't get anything. I don't have a sick bay. Man, these biomes are very touchy. I'm in between frozen water, or I'm, I'm in between snow, desert, no. You have run out of a type of cargo. Cripes, I think I'm screwing it all up. Is it less moisture? And then it's less sun. There we go. Okay, back in the business. Then less moisture again. Okay, what do we get if we hack this guy down? Uh, industrial and food. That's not bad. That's good to have around. Uh, the food's going to be eaten up by the dino mats. So that works. Researchers have improved birth. Okay, cute. Realistically, I want one or two luxury products so I can at least start the research role. Uh, you're in. You're cheap. Six hundred bucks. Not too bad. Researchers have improved Scuzzer Mark 1. Holy cow, you guys are busy. You're hired. There is a solar flare Thank in you. progress. Shall I reconfigure the collector to gather some solar energy? Yes, you can. Dude, seriously, knocking him out of the park here. Good, Scuzzer Mark 2 is a good one to research, or to at least have improved. Okay, so there is a Scuzzer Make 3 on this level. The solar flare has ended. Aww. Yes. Yes, oh my gosh. The trader received your reply. Good, I can't wait. First trade. We'll be able to get medical supplies out of them. Prove sick bay. Fantastic. Just looking for one to get me started. The trader is busy elsewhere now. Aww. I said yes. They said, dude, come on. And no, no, they're busy. That means someone else got the deal, is really what that means. So I think the way this works is all four players get the prompt stating, hey, we want to do some trading. Do you want to take us on board? Or whatever. So if there's like a pilgrim ship or tourist colony or someone requiring medical assistance. I think all players get the, hey, pilgrim ship, we, we want to come on and find religious enlightenment or whatever. So the first player to actually click that and say, yes, come on board, they're the ones that take it. So then the other players, if they click the yes but too late, they'll get that message that says, oh, sorry, we're going to dock with someone else or not interested or whatever. Oh, come on, I'm so impatient. The first ones are always the most painful. Okay, it's a little early, but let's see. Does anyone require any sort of promotions? No, okay. Let's get another siren. Oh, who's uh, currently cleaning themselves. There we go. And dink. Perfect. A 
Holy crap, you're a heavy hitter, but we'll take you. So what does it give us? Two sirens? Yeah. Two expert kind of sirens. Hey, can you spare two seconds, you old pal here? Just a couple, I've got some stuff on what you Let's get rid of the industrial materials. I could sell this anywhere, but you know. And I'm good. Me, well, we go way back. I like to think we're friends. Yes, fantastic. Okay. Finally got our actual first trade trade partner coming in. The problem is I don't have anything to trade. I mean, I've got universal money, money, energy currency for trade, but that's not really a trade thing. Okay, so Targ are, I think, black market goods, and that's a really good thing to stockpile on as well. It's going to be expensive. We might only be able to buy, like, three or four, but we'll be able to turn a really I'm good profit. Because uh, it's a pricey material. Uh, black market, yeah, 610. Yeesht. Um, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's all I'm willing to do. But that still gives us a really good stockpile. A merchant ship has departed. Okay, I don't know who's going to win a one-on-one -on -one battle like that. Uh, you're hired. Oh, a bomb. Thank goodness. Oh, found it. This is fun. Check this out. <laughs> I don't have a recycler. Otherwise, that's where I'd like to put it. Spy has assassinated a visitor. Residents have died. No, a resident. Aww. Death and sickness is amusing for us. Yeah, Lord, I know, okay. Val. You're telling me you I don't have a sick bay. Make such a fuss. Perhaps it's this sense you call pain. Anyway, if you construct a sick bay, you'll avoid such dramatic nonsense in the future, as you can keep the beings on your station alive and well. So the problem with a sick bay is it's going to cost me about ten thousand dollars to get running. So six thousand to put it down. This one's a spy too. Awesome. Uh, it's 6,000 to put down, and then it's 1,000 per diagnosis unit, as in the two doors. So, let's see. 4,000 for the diagnosis units, 1,000 for the two doors that I like to put on, and 6,000 for the thing itself. So, it sets it at 11,000. So, when you really start thinking about it, you know, do you spend the 11, 12,000 to really get a sick bay online, or try to invest economically? Good. And I'm running critically low on energy, so this is going to be really touch go. I'm going to have to off uh, offload some of this black market product regardless of whether or not they're going to give me a good deal. Um, but we bought it at what, like 610? That's not too shabby. If we can get it for like 8 or 9, that's still a good start. Oh gosh, another freaking bomb. A merchant ship has docked. I'll deal with that ship in a second. So here's a quick tip. Leave the notification for the bomb there. And here's why I say this. I found it. So when I grab it, the notification goes away. Now, the reason why I say that is if there's multiple bombs, you at least know you're getting all of them. Ooh, a thousand. Uh, are you selling me stuff? Yes, you are. Medical. Uh, let's go... Okay, so we sold three black market, we got five medical. Let's do... That should be good. Pilgrim ship, fantastic. And then, are you another merchant? Oh, that's fine. Okay, looking good. It's touch go so much in the early parts of this game, especially depending on how you do it. Yeah, tourist party, why not? I don't have a whole lot of tourism stuff, but you're welcome to show up if you like. Oh. I didn't catch what that was. The Kasvagor, or the Kamaramas, what they'll do is, if they have a lot of plants in the bio deck, they do some sort of a, a shock wave of healing contemplative, restorative energy. And any peep that's caught in the range of this sort of a shockwave, or however you want to say it, 
um, get some really neat benefits. I think they become full, they get spiritual happiness, um, they're fed, they don't have to use the bathroom. Like A lot of the stats get boosted. It's very nice. It's a nice little thing. However, the opposite also applies. That if you really have this thing all torn up and it's not a good environment, you just keep strip mining the, the forest up there, they can actually do a negative wave. I'm not too sure exactly what it's called, and I don't think it's actually addressed in the game. Like, they don't, there's not a tutorial mission that says this is how this works. Oh, I'm so impatient. I'm just, I'm just scooning around here. Uh, so next up is a sick bay. Absolutely. Okay, so sounds like they've upgraded luxury goods. Fantastic. I just need one of them. I don't, I don't care which one I harvest. I just, I want to keep that research going. There it is. Thank you. I don't need that one anymore. The real kicker, the real kicker, so you can start off making any product, especially with the factory, which is nice. Um, are you... Oh, sorry, I don't have, I don't there have a, a sick solar bay. Flare in progress. Shall I reconfigure the collector to gather some solar oh, What was energy? I saying? Okay. You can harvest... Or you can create any material, I think except food, in a factory, when it comes to the commodities. Then, as you research it, it gets cheaper and cheaper, as we've been doing throughout the campaign. So you can start off with something like industrial materials, and then you can do something like luxury goods, and then you can do something like the alien artifacts, as they ramp up in value. So right now I'm kind of going halfway. We're going to go luxury materials, uh, because it, or luxury goods, because I think more of the races are more appealing, they're more receptive to it, than trying to mass produce something like, I don't know, hardware goods. Okay, that's going to be enough. We're going to leave that whole deck alone for a while. Now what I'm really hoping we find is a siren party, because they're the ones that are going to buy all this medical off of us. Yes. Again, we're investing. Communications is very important. Communications are very important. That's way better than what the heck I said. Uh, let's go ahead and get a Lavatron, considering I'm noticing there's a bit of a backlog here. I thought there was like three or four people waiting. Uh, you're a ZM Monk. You're hired. Let's go through promotions. Yep. The solar flare has ended. Okay, that was a really nice boost. Now, any Cassagorians? Um, sure. I mean, big iron guns for hire, really, is what we're looking for here. Okay, there's that. We have our two sirens working like crazy. What are your stats? Terrible and terrible and terrible. Using the little chart with all the aliens on it is the most efficient way to hire new people, new peeps, but I really like just doing a little little looking around, see if someone catches your eye kind of a thing, and then hire them based on that. If their stats are good, of course, but you know, after a while it just gets a little annoying, just be like, oh gosh, who's available? No! No! Ah, you see that? It came up, it disappeared, someone else got it already. Doggone it. Seeing a lot of flashing on the enemy territory, so that's great. That means something's exploding, and I'm hoping it's them. Okay. You cannot beam that up. Start taking care of some of this litter. Again, any bit of effort that we do that our scuzzers don't have to is an excellent start. It's a good help. Um, also, I don't think we've encountered one of these throughout the mission so far. We may have. I may not. I might just not remember, but. Um, there's these little cat creatures. Uh, do we have any? I don't think I see one. There's these little cat creatures, and what they do is, they're, they're kind of like the vermin. Um, what happens is, any peep that comes in contact with these little cat guys, they get a little boost. Some of their abilities or some of their needs are sedated and that sort of a thing, so it's kind of cute. The thing is, if these cat creatures eat ten pieces of litter, what can happen is, They'll turn into these scratchers, I think they're called. And what they'll do is they'll absolutely wreak havoc. We don't have enough security to deal with that, so that could be very problematic very fast. Okay, we got some scuzzers here. I want this out of my build thing. Hopefully they'll take care of that. 
idea. Yep, it's a roller, along with the best the galaxy can offer, and at prices you won't believe. Yeah, we got the medical supplies at a really good price, but I'm not gonna sell it for 770. That's a joke. Um, of course, if we were doing much worse on our energy, I would change my mind, but I think we're doing okay. Um, what else can we really start to build? We have a general store. A music shop would be nice. It's something else to just diversify. However, the music shop is going to eat up our luxury. That's what it does. That's the commodity it uses. Uh, yes. Good dedication. I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's check out our residence again. Promotions. Yep. Good. Already starting to see some of these lower guys start to boost up a bit. Joy Moonchild. <laughs> Wow. Good investment. Good investment in research. Very expensive. And I hope it'll pay off. Uh, I'm too close. If I had 2,000, I'd hire him. He was like 1,200 or something. That would put me way too close to a failure. And I know I'm not going to be building any more structures anytime soon because of my power capacity. I need another power booster, which is 5,000, if I remember correctly. Yeah. You're hired for 75. Okay, I've got enough cash. Where did that Zeta Monk go? Hmm, I wonder if he left. Well, let's do this the easier way. There he is. Oh, he was right where we were looking? I don't know how I missed him. Huh, anyway. Um, let's see here. Another Casphagorian would be great. See, I hit yes. The trader received your reply. He received my reply, so that means he's on his way here. But the door didn't open, so I don't know for sure. This is gonna get very difficult if I'm going to have a hard enough time just trying to maintain uh, trade transit. The trader. Okay, so we hit yes on that one, and now the door opens. So I'm going to get this guy is busy, yep, elsewhere now. busy elsewhere. That's what will happen. Uh, great, luxury goods got a boost. Very good. I'm happy with the workforce that we've got. Uh, next is definitely a sick bay. A marching ship is docked. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yes. Five sixty. Wow. That's good enough. Oh, there we go. A merchant ship has departed. So what this really means is, it, it, there, were, there was a shockwave, if you didn't see it. So it looked like he was meditating and floating. Now, I don't know which, which one that was. I'm going to assume it's the positive one, because, I mean, plants are growing. I haven't, I haven't chopped anything down. Um, I'm not sure, though. That's one of the things that I haven't really been able to study enough, and I've read enough facts about it. So, it's like one of those things that you just kind of assume it just happens. Like the same thing with the last few missions. I think it was two missions ago, or maybe it was last mission, I can't recall. But when we did the Ascension with the Zeta monks, that was something like, I knew it was possible, just never really saw it, never paid attention to it, and then we had the opportunity to see that on, on camera, and that was the first time I've seen it ever, so that was pretty awesome. Okay. One more. I don't care which one. Oh, got a twofer. Very good. Get this stuff put away. Again, just making sure we at least have one for research. And then hopefully, depending on which trader we get... Yep. Ah, oh, you got caught somewhere else. The trader received your reply. I'm really hoping we get sirens. We could dump off all that medical, and then ironically enough, we're going to use the money we use... We're going to use... Ah, I can't talk. 
We're gonna use the money that we gained on selling the... Oh, what the? Oh, somebody died. And you're already died. Siren. Dang it. Um, anyway, I was trying to say, it'll be funny because we're selling all our medical supplies to raise money to build a hospital. Like, that kind of a thing. It's like, well, we're gonna need the medical supplies for the hospital, but we need the money. Money's more important, so... Oh, there we go. We just got some medical there. Any one of you? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm getting a little greedy about it. So, plug this in. Do this trade. The trader is busy elsewhere. Yeah, now. lame. I don't have a sick bay. Uh, industrial materials, great. I don't need that right now. Uh, black market product. Oof, that's. There we go. They give us a really nice boost to our inventory. So I've got no problem with that. That kicks off. That's going to load up full. Oh, thank goodness, a solar ship. flare. There is a solar flare thank in progress. Thank you. Shall I reconfigure the collector to gather some solar energy? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to call this an episode right here. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm going to catch you next time.